super simple. It's imagination time with Katie. Hi, friends. You're listening to Super Simple Imagination Time with Katie. This episode is inspired by the super simple song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Join us as we row down the stream and learn a few life lessons along the way. Here we go. Hello, hello. It's good to be with you, my friend. Hello, hello. I'm glad we're together again. We got Zach on the keys. And Katie singing, la 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 la. We'll have some fun in our imagination. Go on adventures again and again. Hello, hello. It's good to be with you, my friend. Hello, hello. I'm Katie. And our friend Zach is here too. Hello, hello. Hey, I know that song Zach is playing. Do you know it too? Row, row, row your boat. Yeah, I like that song. It's all about rowing a boat gently down a stream and feeling so merry that life feels like a dream. Being on a boat out in the water is one of my favorite places to be. It can feel super relaxing, and you can see such beautiful things from the water. Today, let's use our imaginations to go on an adventure together. And we'll pretend to row a boat down a beautiful, imaginary stream. It almost will be just like a dream because it will all take place in our minds using our imagination. Let's take a moment to clear our minds so we can make lots of room for this beautiful dream we'll have together. Ready, Zach? Ready, Katie. Are you ready, friends? Let's close our eyes and take a deep breath. In one, two, three, hold it. Out, three, two, one. Imagine a stream in your mind. I see water moving swiftly between two green grassy banks. There's a few rocks in the stream. The water pushes up against them, making little waves, then rushes around them and continues downstream. Can you imagine you hear the sounds of the water moving in the stream? I think it's a very relaxing sound. Let's try to relax our bodies too. Let's imagine we can feel the water of the stream moving through our bodies, from the top of our heads, down to the tips of our toes. And as it moves through you, feel the muscles in your body soften. Let's take one more deep breath together. In one, two, three, hold it. Out, three, two, one. We're ready for imagination time. Let's explore the stream on our imagination adventure. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life feels like a dream. This stream in my imagination looks so lovely. It's like a beautiful dream. Can you see the stream in your mind? 
Hey, what's that on the grassy bank? I see a rowboat. It's just waiting there for us. It must have known we were coming. <laughs> I imagine it's a small boat made of brown wood with a paddle for rowing. It's the perfect boat for exploring the stream. But wait, Katie. There are some important things we have to do before we get into a boat. Ah, you're right, Zach. It's very important to be safe out on the water. We're always safe in our imaginations. But when we're going out in a boat in real life, there are a few things we have to do before we can get into the boat. So let's pretend to get ready. Getting ready, 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 getting ready, 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 getting ready, ready, ready to row. <laughs> when we get into a boat, we have to wear a life jacket. That's a special jacket that makes us float. It's also called a personal flotation device. Let's put it on. We'll do up the straps, make sure they're nice and tight. And now we're ready, ready, ready. We're ready, ready, ready to row our boat. Let's get in. Ooh, careful. It can be a bit wobbly. Whoa! Let's sit down. Whew, that's better. It feels really wobbly standing up in the boat. Let's make sure we stay seated. That feels much easier to balance. I can't wait to row down the stream. Let's push the boat off the bank with our paddle and begin to row in the water. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. The stream is beautiful. I imagine I can feel the boat moving down the river with every stroke of the paddle. I can hear the water splashing up against the side of the boat and the sound of the paddle dipping into the water. It makes little splashes. <laughs> Rowing in my boat, splash, splash, splash. Rowing in my boat, splash, splash, splash. Rowing very fast, splash, splash, splash. Rowing very slow, splash, splash, splash. I like rowing, rowing in my boat. The boat gently rocks to and fro as we ride merrily down the stream. Can you imagine you feel the boat moving with the water? Let's pretend to look out over the edge of the boat and into the water. What do you see? I see ripples in the water from our paddle. Ooh, yes. Our paddle makes patterns and shapes when it goes into the water, making ripples on the surface. Our boat is also making ripples behind us as it moves through the water. And I imagine the sun is shining down. It shimmers like diamonds in the stream. Can you see it sparkling? Wow. Hey, I imagine there's something else making splashes and ripples in the water. Over there, yeah. It's a fish. It's doing little jumps on the surface. I imagine I see another one. <laughs> one little fish, she's swimming in the stream. Along came another one. And then there were two. There are lots of animals that live in and around the stream. Let's see what other animals we can find. Look around, look around, 
Look around and see what can be found. I imagine I see frogs. <laughs> they're sitting on a log at the edge of the stream. Ooh, there's lots of them. I imagine I see one, two, three, four, five frogs. <laughs> five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log. And what's that sound? Quack, quack. <laughs> what animal makes a sound like that? Quack, quack, quack. A duck. But I don't see any ducks. But I imagine I can hear them. Hmm. Maybe they're further upstream. I imagine I can see the stream up ahead bending around the bank. I can't see past it. We'll have to go forward and row around the corner to see what's up ahead. Let's go slowly in case the ducks are around the bend. Then we won't scare them away. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. There are ducks. There they are. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> I imagine I can see a family of ducks splashing and playing around. Can you see them in your mind? Hello, duckies. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> uh oh. What happened? I imagine we're not moving anymore. The boat is stopped. Seems like we're stuck. Huh. I guess the water in this part of the stream is too shallow. The boat has touched the bottom, and now we can't row ourselves forward. Hmm. Now what? I didn't expect this to happen on our dreamy journey down the stream. Hmm. What can we do? Hmm. I'm thinking a thought. Hmm. I'm thinking a lot. Hmm. We need an idea. Let's work with what we've got. Hmm. Oh, I imagine I see a tree branch reaching out over the water. It's close enough to reach out and touch. It's almost like it wants to help. <laughs> Let's see if we can reach out and grab the tree branch. Got it! Now, let's pull and get ourselves out of this shallow area. Pull! Uh-oh! The tree branch broke! Oh no! Now what are we going to do? We're still stuck. Huh. Well, when something doesn't work out, that doesn't mean we can't do it. We just might have to try a different way. When you want to give up, try again. Keep on trying, keep on trying. What else do we have to work with? Oh, we have our paddle. What if we use the paddle to push against the bottom of the stream? Maybe it will help push the boat deeper into the water. Yeah, just like when we pushed off the bank of the stream. Right. Okay, let's try it. Push! Oh, I imagine we moved a little bit. 
Did you feel that? But we're still stuck. Let's try again. Push! Ooh, we moved a little bit more. Huh, <sighs> this is tough work. <sighs> when you want to give up, try again. Keep on trying, keep on trying. I think one more big push will do it. Let's push! We did it! We got unstuck. The water is much deeper here. Much nicer for rowing merrily along. <laughs> Sometimes, you might be moving merrily along, and then something happens that makes you feel stuck. But if you stop, take a deep breath, use a little imagination, and keep trying, you can work through it. Nicely done, everyone. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life feels like a dream. Hmm, life feels like a dream. But you know what? I think life is a bit like a stream. <laughs> it can move fast or move slowly. Sometimes there's a big bend and you can't see up ahead until you go a little further. It can be beautiful with the sun sparkling and the water splashing, but it can also sometimes make you feel stuck. But now we know for next time to watch out for that shallow part. <laughs> We can learn a little bit more every time we dip our paddle in the water and row a little further downstream. Let's row a little further together, back to the green grassy bank, where we'll rest our boat for a little while. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life feels like a dream. Now that we're back on the grass, we can take off our life jacket. Let's pretend to unclip the buckles, and we'll put it away until next time. I had a wonderful time rowing in our boat today. Me too! <laughs> I hope you'll join us again soon for more Imagination Time and another Imagination Adventure. For now, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Our time has come to an end. Goodbye, for now. Until we're together again. Goodbye, goodbye from all your friends at Super Simple. From me, Katie, and from Zach. See you soon. Bye, friends. Hey! If you enjoyed that episode of Imagination Time, we'd love to hear it. Please leave us a review on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And subscribe to Super Simple Imagination Time with Katie. It really helps us to share more Imagination Time with you. 